Chapter 355, Master Shuai Yun Cites Public Anger. Honored Master, your disciple requests to do battle. Third disciple Haitian sent a message to Master Shuai Yu. Shuai Yu herself was hesitating a bit now. If He Yan had still lost after a hard pitch battle with the secular genius, Master Shuai Yu would have arranged for Haitian to take the field without hesitation. However, she truly did hesitate after she saw that secular genius easily defeat He Yan in a second. He Yan's cultivation was less than Haitian's, but there wasn't much of a gap. One was ranked number three, the other number four. There was only a thin line between them. Even though Haitian would have his unique advantage in the Ring of Spirit Devouring, Master Shu Ai wasn't confident now that the secular genius wouldn't continue to be this insane in the Ring of Spirit Devouring, given his perverse performance in the Rings of Fire and Ice. One could no longer use the look of a normal person in which to judge this secular genius. Honored Master, your disciple was as intimate as brothers with Junior Brother He. Please allow me to take the field and exact revenge for him. Haitian once more made his request when he saw his master hesitate. His relations with He Yen were alright, they definitely weren't at the point of being as intimate as brothers. However, when Haitian looked at his master, he knew that his master had been infuriated to the utmost. This was the moment in which she most needed someone to share her burdens and help her vent some ill temper. If he could help his master vent some ill temper now, then his position in his master's heart would certainly draw close to behind first senior brother Sung Shi's and second senior brother Chu Zainan's. He would never measure up to Long Juk Su, but at least he could enjoy similar treatment as his two senior brothers. Haitian wanted to take the risk to win his master's affections. Not to mention, Haitian was confident that his strength was higher than he Yan's. He may not be able to win out over the secular genius in the Ring of Ice, but he was confident that he'd be able to pull out some techniques in the Ring of Spirit Devouring. Master Shua Ayu didn't want anything to happen to any more of her disciples at this time. Haitian, this dumb animal is quite bizarre. I think only someone in the Sky Quadrant will be able to suppress him. Haitian said hurriedly, Honored Master, your disciple absolutely has 70-80% confidence in the Ring of Spirit Devouring. Please let your disciple try. This ruffian is so arrogant, our Shua Ayu faction will have to completely bow our heads if we don't reduce some of his influence. Haitian knew his honored master's personality, and knew that the thing she cared the most about was the Shu Ayu faction being suppressed. Master Shu Ayu's heart did indeed waver when these words were sent to her. She also understood her own disciples, and knew that Haitian was a water attribute genius, but his potential in the metal realm was absolutely stunning. Add to this his own fortuitous occurrences, the Ring of Spirit Devouring was indeed a stage suitable for Haitian. This dumb swine is so arrogant, am I supposed to bow my head to him just like this and concede defeat? When Shu Ayu thought about a future in which her faction was suppressed by a secular disciple, she couldn't even breath smoothly. How about if I send Haitian for a try? Haitian's personality is even more calm and more shrewd than he Yan's. Him taking the field would be a better choice. Otherwise, I wouldn't have arranged him to go second. I was worried he wouldn't take fight. Since his will to fight is so strong, why not let him try? He's certain to suppress that secular swine in the ring of spirit devouring. Master Shu Ayu's desire to win still overcome all else when her thoughts traveled here. She instructed Haitian, All right, wait a moment. I'll arrange it immediately. The number of times he can be challenged today have already been reached. I must arrange it so that he'll challenge you. Haitian was gladdened to hear his master's tone soften. Haitian, you must be careful in this match. Don't be in a rush to attack. Test the waters first. Remember, your own safety is paramount. If you are able to suppress this arrogant ruffian, credit for this achievement will go to you. With the previous example of Hien, Master Shu Ayu patiently gave a few reminders. She didn't want her two best disciples in the Earth Quadrant to be crippled. She had particularly high hopes for Haitian. Of the four top disciples in the Earth Quadrant, Haitian's ranking was the highest, and he had the greatest hopes of making it into the Sky Quadrant. She'd only felt guilt and badly that he Yen had been crippled, but if something happened to Haitian, then she really would have suffered a grave and heartbreaking loss. Next challenger, number 491, report to the Ring of Spirit Devouring. Number 491 was Zhang Chen's number in Earth Quadrant. Zhang Chen had been sitting down cross-legged when he heard his number. He opened his eyes, a look of slight surprise shooting out of his eyes. He thought that he enjoy a period of quiet after being challenged three times in a row. He hadn't thought that his number would be selected again as soon as he'd sat down. This time, it was him taking the ring to challenge others. He flicked a meaningful glance at Master Shu Ayu. Zhang Chen's mind was clear. He knew that this old woman hadn't given up hope and still wanted to do something. However, he wouldn't retract into his shell like a turtle either. He snorted in cold laughter and walked towards the ring. I'd like to see what that old woman will get up to this time. Zhang Chen didn't wait for the examiner to speak and smiled frostily. Let me guess who my opponent is this time? He purposefully looked down towards Master Shu Ayu's disciples. It should be you this time? Zhang Chen's gaze locked onto Hai Yan's figure. He was familiar with those beneath Master Shu Ayu. He knew that she had four major disciples in the Earth Quadrant. He Yan was number two, and Hai Tian was number one. Since he personally crippled He Yan, then whatever the old woman Shu Ai wanted to do would depend on her sending out Hai Tian. With how shameless this woman was, she would give no thought to the rules as soon as she lost her rationality and would continue to cheat. It was too easy for a keeper to manipulate the matches. Master Shu Ai's heart sank when she heard Zhang Chen's words. She hadn't thought that the secular genius would be so sharp as to see straight through her schemes. Zhang Chen knew that he'd guessed rightly when he saw Master Shu Ai's expression change. He laughed heartily. You'd rather cheat in order to send someone to their death? What kind of masochistic mentality is this? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet now? It looked like he was speaking to Haitian with these words, 
but he was actually speaking to Master Shua Ayu. She was now caught between a rock and a hard place. If she pulled out Hytion's number now now, then all would be too ironic, and it would be directly telling everyone that yes, I did indeed manipulate these matches. But if she didn't pull out his number, that meant she was bowing her head to Zhang Chen and that she'd been frightened by his words. A war was waged in her head, did she send Hytion or not? Master Shu Ayu had never thought that she would be so outplayed by a secular brat to the point where there was no easy way out. She watched him standing in the ring, chatting and laughing easily, a proud smile at the corners of his lips and mockery suffusing his dismissive eyes. Master Shu Ayu was immediately incensed by his expression. Hi Tian, you go. Master Shu Ayu was also greatly decisive. If she admitted defeat now and didn't let Hai Tian take the stage, this matter would become a blot on her record for forever and even form into her internal demon. Therefore, even if others said she was manipulating the matches, even if she would be removed from her position as keeper, she would never take this lying down. Hai Tian was likewise feeling the fires of rage and had a bone deep hatred of Zhang Chen. He respected his master tremendously, almost as if she were an immortal in the heavens. When he saw that she was backed into a corner by this secular disciple, he was gritting his teeth of hatred and itched to take the field himself, to torture the other to death by slicing the meat off his bones and strips and burning his bones to ashes. Number 491 Challenges Candidate Number 4, Hytion in the Ring of Spirit Devouring. A great hubbub exploded from the entire arena when this was announced. This. This was naked manipulated. Even the neutral candidates could no longer abide this. If it hadn't been for them fearing Master Shu Ayu's despotic power, they would have wanted to erupt in protest. Even if they didn't voice their protests, the booing arising from all corners was enough to explain what was wrong here. Did any law or justice exist at all, given how your purple sun sect was behaving? What was this? Public suppression. They might not have felt much about suppressing a secular disciple, but was there any impartiality left in manipulating the matches thus? Who could promise that her actions would be limited only towards this secular disciple? Who could guarantee that she would never use the same methods to suppress the geniuses of the other sects? This was absolutely a no wind and a vulgar practice. If a keeper occasionally got up to some shenanigans and wasn't too blatant about it, everyone else would just pretend it hadn't happened and let it pass on by. But this had been too obvious and completely unconcealed. If even this was allowed, then there was absolutely no impartiality in the trials in the Earth Quadrant at all. Therefore, apart from the Purple Sun sect disciples, almost everyone below the rings were siding with the secular disciple this time. It wasn't that they thought that well of Zhang Chen, but that they were thoroughly disappointed and enraged by Master Shu Ai's actions. Manipulating the matches and continued oppression, who would dare rise to the top in the Earth Quadrant after this? She'll suppress whoever's in the limelight. Was her Purple Sun sect going to claim all the top spots in the end? The candidates were all made of flesh and blood. They liked to enjoy privilege, but still craved fair competition on the same level. It would be false to say that Master Shua Ayu didn't have the slightest bit of pressure when she heard all the booing. However, it was like she was riding a tiger now and finding it hard to dismount. Her face darkened as she whistled lowly, sending out a strong aura and immediately silencing all the booing. What are you agitating about? There is fair competition in these matches. What are you making a fuss about? Although she knew she was cheating, Master Shua Ayu still maintained a sense of awe-inspiring righteousness. She didn't have the slightest awareness that she was cheating. A divine halo had replaced it, as well as the bearing of a holy mother who was not to be questioned. Zhang Chen couldn't help but curse slowly when he saw this, you leave the life of a whore and expect a monument to your chastity, how fake. However, the more Master Shu Ai was thus, the more Zhang Chen was enraged. He thought that she'd reined herself in a bit after he and being crippled. He hadn't thought that she hadn't given up hope. It looked like this old woman was more stubborn and domineering than he thought. Ha 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 ha. Zhang Chen laughed instead of growing angry. His face suddenly darkened. A fair competition, huh? This is a type of fairness that I've never experienced before in my life. He put away his sarcastic expression after speaking and looked towards Haitian. When the heavens want one to die, they will cause them to go mad first. I hope you put forth some effort into the fight and don't become a sacrifice due to someone else's insanity. He was naturally insinuating Master Shu Ai with his words. Hai Tian laughed coldly. His heart grew calmer the more critical things became. He knew that all would depend on the match to come if he were to suppress the voices beneath the ring. History was written by the victors, 